It is so easy to look at a room like this and get overwhelmed. And for people with depression, ADHD, or maybe even just times in their lives like bereavement or postpartum, this can be the reality. What I do is I think to myself, there are only five things in this room. I start by moving some big things out of the way. And then I think no matter how much it looks like, there are really only five things here. There are trash, dishes, laundry, things without a place, and things that have a place that they need to go into. So I start by picking up all the trash. I just get a big trash bag and I walk around and I ignore everything except for the garbage. I stick the garbage in the bag and when I'm done with that, I just put the garbage down. I don't take it out, I don't go to other rooms, I just put it all in a pile. And so you can see me walking around and putting all the boxes and the bags. This prevents me from getting distracted. I'm just aiming for a livable space, not for things being perfect. The second category is laundry. I grab a laundry basket, I walk around, I get up all the laundry and the shoes. And again, I don't take it anywhere. I don't go try to do the laundry. I just set it aside. Then I get all of the dishes and I put them in the sink. I'm not doing the dishes, I'm just putting them in the sink. We are, this is the quickest way to get to a livable space. Then I'm gonna pick a corner of the room and start putting away all the things that have a space. And that's gonna take me a little bit of time, but it's easier to do because I don't have to think about things. So I'm gonna pick this little play area here and I'm gonna put away everything that has a spot. Once I have done this, to the play area, I'm gonna to move to a different area. So next I'm gonna move over to my island and do it there. And then I'll move to the living room and do it there. And then the last category that you're gonna see me tackle are things without a place. So when I come across something that doesn't have a place to go, I just make a big pile of things. And then when I'm done, everything in the room is clear except for this one pile. And then you can do things like sit down on the floor with a Netflix show or turn on a podcast that you really like. And it makes it a lot easier. So here I am, I've moved to the island. I'm still in this video on places that have a spot. And so you can see me sort of taking things and putting them away. Or if it doesn't have a spot, I'm gonna add it to that pile at the end of the island. This also helps me because I don't really have to think by picking a category and then searching for the things in that category, I'm really cutting down the amount of decisions that I have to make. And by not leaving the room, I'm preventing myself from getting distracted. All right, now that we're gonna look at this pile and I'm gonna figure out a spot for all those things. Even if it's a temporary spot, that's okay. The space is gonna look so much more livable. It's gonna be so much more functional. And then when I'm done with that, then I can take out the trash and put the laundry in the laundry room and do the dishes, or I can save those tasks for another day. Now I even have room to do a little bit of cleaning and I'm not going for perfect. I am just going for functional. I'm gonna put these big items back. I might just set some of them out of the way for now. And there you go. This space will care for me well now.